Hi, welcome all. Uh, it's Gabby here and... Uh, and this is Jasper. Yes, welcome. We are the business developers uh, for Chantry. Uh, well, if you want to achieve higher profits, uh, then keep watching to this uh, small webinar. Uh, and if, or if you're not familiar with the company Chantry, we are manufacturers of animal feed additives, concentrates and premixes. Uh, and we are based in the Netherlands. Uh, this is the second of a series of short webinars where we are giving you all the information you need about a certain topic in how to improve your poultry business. The coming 10 to 15 minutes, we explain you all you need to know about signals from farm data. Uh, afterwards, this webinar, there will be a Q&A with us and one of our nutritionists, Larissa. Also, you can su suggest uh, topics for one of the coming webinars. The topics that we will discuss are reasons why to record your vlog. How can you do this? And we give you some tips, uh, some tips and tricks about collecting data from your vlog. So why tracking your flock? Record keeping is a maintenance tool to see if your flock is in line with the standards. And it can reveal if there is something wrong with the flock, which makes you able to react quickly. The more data you collect, the more you can learn from it uh, for future improvements. First, uh, health monitoring. Keep tracking your flock, your poultry flock, uh, allows you to monitor the health and well being of your birds by recording various data such as weight, feed consumption, egg production, behavior, behavioral changes, can identify any signs of illness or diseases early on. Also important is the productivity and performance evaluation. Tracking your flock helps you evaluate the productivity and performance of your birds. Also, if you keep records, you know exactly when your layer flock is developing a new phase, for example, with layers having a layer percentage uh, production of 5%, you will reach there that somewhere around 16 weeks. You will need to change your feed formula for this different phase. For the optimal performance of the feed, it is good to start at the right moment. With the insight of your collected data, it is possible to do so. Um, by monitoring parameters such as uh, egg production, growth rate, feed conversion ratio, you can identify which chicken are performing well and which ones uh, may need attention or improvement. And this information allows you to make informed decisions about breeding, culling, and flock management strategies to optimize productivity and profitability. By keeping an eye on your chickens, you can start to recognize problems early and see where the problem is coming from, so you can solve it. Also important is financial management. Uh, tracking your flock can assist in financial management and budgeting by monitoring expenses related to feeds, medications, vaccinations, and other inputs. You can calculate the cost of production per bird and uh, assess the overall profit, uh, profitability of your poultry operation. So an example why record keeping is important uh, to understand the curve of your production. And here you can see the production curve of a layer. Well, how does it work? Uh, there are different ways to process your data, uh, which you collected at your farm. For example, uh, with the one to three poultry app, uh, you can do it in Excel or by pen and paper, whatever you prefer. Uh, there are a few important identicators for record keeping. Um, next page. So first, the feed consumption. Know how much feed your flock is eating. 
uh, but also check if all the uh, if all the feeders are well filled with feed. Adjust the height of the feeders according to the height and size of your chicks and check this every day. Another thing to record is the water consumption. Uh, a dip in water intake is one of the earliest indicators that, that there might be a problem with your flock. Every day you need to know how much water your flock is drinking. Check if all drinkers are well filled with clean and fresh drinking water and have the right height for the chicks. Uh, very important to note is if you don't want to drink the water yourself, your chickens also won't like it. To calculate the performance of your chickens, it's also important to measure the body weight. Uh, weight weekly the birds using a spring scale which, uh, with a sample of 50 up to 100 birds. Uh, compare the average recorded weight with the expected weight. Uh, and you can refer this to the breeder guide of the breed of your chicken in order to detect any delays in growth. And it's very important to record the mortality of your flock. And do this every day and then remove, of course, the dead birds and ill-looking chicks uh, also make a report of this. As last, uh, keep record of the temperature and humidity of your poultry house. Measure these values at chick height, um, use a thermometer and write down all the measurements. Um, it's important to, uh, to note a maximum and a minimum of the temperature. The environment of farm conditions can affect the farm performance. Therefore, it is important to keep records of the environment through factors such as temperature, humidity, but also lit litter quality, airflow, and hygiene. Yeah. Well, uh, we have developed one, two, three poultry. Uh, this is an application. Uh, you can use it from PC or any device uh, that supports farmers in making better decisions by analyzing farm data, as you can see here on the picture. Uh, it helps to record essential farm data in easy format that requires no difficult calculations. Uh, first, at the location in the poultry app, uh, and then learn how to improve your production easily. Um, gain insights into your income, expenses, uh, achieve higher profits insights in development of all your flocks and you're also uh, able to share your flock with anyone uh, with colleagues friends other farmers and in the uh, application you also find a lot of tips and tricks on how to track your flock Then, as promised, we also have some tips and tricks for you to, uh, well, to get uh, the correct records for, of your poultry houses. Um, the first thing we want to, to tell you is that you need to remember that no two poultry houses are the same. Every flock of birds will vary in the management uh, needed to meet their requirements. So there will, uh, there will always be different differences between poultry houses. Uh, also, it's, it's important to check the health. Uh, check randomly the, the crop of minimal 50 chicks. Also check the birds on clean beaks, uh, fans, and a nice plumage. Uh, look all the birds alert and healthy. Uh, you need to listen. Uh, if you hear any word strange sounds, you need to act. Um, you, sh you should not hear any birds gasping for air, for example, or breathing with an open beak. That whoops probably mean a kind of climate problem in your poultry house. Um, also walk among your, uh, your birds in your poultry house. Um, if they are moving away rapidly, when you come close, that's a very good sign. So the chickens will be, will be active and in good condition. Uh, if they are not moving away ra uh, rapidly, um, it's probably a signal to act that there might be a problem. Yeah. And also when you check the birds, uh, lift up uh, five, four birds in different places in the house. Uh, make sure you close the door uh, 
in the middle or the walls far back um, and check them. In summary, tracking your uh, poultry flock allows you to monitor the health, evaluate productivity, comply with regulations, manage finances and make informed decisions regarding breeding and flock management. It's an essential practice for successful poultry farming. Well, again, thank you very much for, uh, for the attention. And uh, we will start with, with the Q&A. Uh, I should suggest that if you have a question for our nutrition, nutritionist Larissa, um, that you can chat your question to us and then Larissa will join this meeting uh, in a moment um, and our nutritionist or we will answer your questions. And also, if you um, missed the start of the webinar, uh, we will share the link with you uh, to see the YouTube recording. Also on YouTube, you can find more um, yeah, videos, webinars, uh, which go more deeper into, uh, for example, one, two, three, poultry and how to use it. Also, uh, um, calculating your feed conversion rates, 